Okay, welcome to another exciting episode of Fits and Bags and Stuff. We're looking at the crankshaft right now. I'm sure you guys seen the video of me disassembling the whole engine, and I can put that up here, and that's where it is. Um, so right now, I have the crank pulled apart, and let's get to the front of it here. Took off the rods, um, left them where they are. Again, that's your number one, uh, your number two. And number three and four. So um, I took the bearings out, start to look at them, but let's look at this gear right here. This gear has been through better days. It has a little bit of chipped or grinded off teeth on it, if you can see it right there. It's hard to focus. So that's no good. That has to be replaced. Um, the other one, this is meant for um, your drive shaft on your distributor. And that's not looking too bad. I've seen them worse, but that should be replaced. Oh, and by the way, this is meant for your camshaft. So, and then you had your Woodruff keys. They were kind of beat up, so to speak. But uh, let's get uh, down to looking at the bearings. So let's see, let's check out this bearing here. Oh, it don't look too good. It's got sh some scoring going on here. Not good at all. That's your rear main. See this guy, this guy don't look too bad. Don't look too bad. A little bit of discoloration there, but not too bad. Okay, and then let's see this guy. Oh, that's really bad. And that's really bad. This bearing is toast. No good. All right. So I went back, um, started to measure the journals. All these journals should match up right now we're looking at the crankshaft journals and that's what i measured this guy would be considered number one this one would be considered number two number three and number four these are where the bearings ride on the ones i just showed you um, there's three bearings i showed you but the one that goes in the center is split in half and doesn't make sense to show you i don't even know what i did with it so um they when i measured all these they're not within spec they're supposed to be like 2.1640 through 2.1648. Mm -hmm. They're like 7,000 smaller than what they should be. Uh, it's within that range. Um, I also checked the, the rod when it's sitting in here, the side to side. Um, that was within spec. I think it was like 0 0.009. Uh, the most it could have play would be 0 0.016. So that was that looked good. Um, let's see what else about the journals. Uh, these journals here for the connecting rods or the rods themselves, they seem to be uh, under as well. They should be very similar to the main journals here. So... Um, I'm not sure if this crank was grinded at one time, but the amount that it's under, the seven thousandths, uh, that tells me that it's just worn. It's not, it wasn't ground down at all. It wasn't machined. That's what, it's the way I understand it. Um, also, if you take a look at here, this rear main journal. See that stripe right there? That's where your oil goes. Comes out, comes through here, and your bearing kind of rides in here and it rides a little bit on here but see this little this area right here that's where your oil comes out so it makes sense that this bearing doesn't contact all the time in that center because of the oil and that makes sense why the striping is there um, so it's worn here I can actually feel it uh, I put a caliper on here and it measures different from here to here and here. It's all different. So it's, it's basically worn. This crankshaft is worn. Now, it's not totally a waste. You can have this ground down to whatever you need and have the bearings match. But I may just go out and get a, a maybe a new one. You can go out and get a, a crankshaft that's already been serviced, um, probably for like $115 uh, to have this done at a local machine shop. Probably cost a lot more than that. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Then get the bearings to match. 
And then let's talk about the connecting rods here. I pull out the bearings and let's see. They're not too bad. You can take a look. It's not bad. Um, let's see. Uh, these were fine. When I looked at them earlier, it's fine. A little bit of discoloration. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's when you got grooves in them. Oh, oh this one has got grooves in it. So that's not good. Same thing with that one. That one's not good either. And you also check the back of them. Um, they seem fine. The back one will tell you if it's got discoloration that they spun. And sometimes that happens. So, but I also checked the inside diameter of these guys here. Um, they're with inspect. I think they're supposed to be, and it's not in the, any of the manuals uh, when you look it up. They're supposed to be like 2.755 or 2.765 within there. And usually you don't measure the inside of these. They just put the bearings in. Um, I don't like doing that. I just want to make sure the connecting rods are, are still in good shape. And a lot of times these don't get beat up inside of here. Usually it's the bearing that takes takes the, the damage. So usually these are in good shape. Only thing that goes bad with these is that they'll start to bend. So that you can take a machine shop and they can check it for you. But I, you can eyeball it or just stack these on top and kind of measure it out and see if any of these are bent. That's one way to find out. But I mean, you'll see a bend. For those who've been working on engines long enough, you'll see a bend in a rod. It's pretty obvious. When they bend, they really bend. Other than that, um, that's one blemish here. Like somebody will, was banging in on this. So it's just disappointing whoever put this engine together. I think they just bought, I think they just brought brand new bearings and just stuck them on there. They didn't decide to measure. So that's what's going on with this guys. So as I take you along for this uh, engine teardown fiasco, um, I'll let you guys know what's going on. Uh, so far, so we can recap, I think the rods are good. The crankshaft needs to be ground down to a, a correct size, get some of those rid of some of those blemishes, if that's what I decide to do. Brand new bearings, brand new gear, gear, uh, New keys, uh, the spacers seem to be okay. So that's it. So please like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you guys think, and have a good one. One thing I didn't check, I didn't check for total run out. That's when you put it on a, like a V block and you spin it and see what the, your indicator gauge, if it goes up and down, see how this is kind of rounded off. It, sometimes it could be egg shaped, but I didn't do, I didn't do that. Um, I was already, I stopped when these were not in spec anyway. So I didn't check for that. But that's one thing you should be checking for. If everything looks good, then yes, check for, for run out. And then for total run out, you will have an indicator here and then run it through backwards or forwards just to make sure that it's within spec. So I forgot to just tell you guys what I did with that.